My name is Sarah Gallist. I'm an associate professor at the University of Minnesota School of Public Health, and I study the media. I'm just fascinated in the role of the media in influencing the way the public thinks about health policy issues. Uh, 2013 and 2014 was the first open enrollment period, really the key implementation period of the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. And we just wanted to know how did the news media cover this major event in health policy. Uh, and so that's why we did the study. And so still to this day, most Americans tune into the local nightly news to get their information. And also the ACA, or, the, or Obamacare, is really local in nature. I mean, the law really differed across how it was implemented, what health insurance options were available to Americans across local geographic regions. And so we wanted to explore that, that geographic variation that might exist in the news that we wouldn't see if we only looked at you know, the nightly, nightly national news or the New York Times. Um, we were really keen in looking at what types of information sources were cited in the news media. So we expected there to be a lot of doctors cited and health insurance companies and um, the navigators, the dedicated people that were uh, providing information about the law. We thought those were the types of people that would have been cited for their expertise in, in during the time period of the study. And in fact, uh, we found that the majority of information sources cited were politicians, so the White House, uh, elected officials with their Democratic or Republican affiliation. Um, and so that really led us to the conclusion that the ACA was covered by the news media as a highly politicized law. Yep. So I think one of the really key findings um, that we were looking for was how often did local television news coverage give Americans practical information about how the law could help them and how could they get enrolled versus covering the law in a kind of horse race strategy where they focused on the number of people that had been enrolled and the problems with the rollout. And what we found was a really tiny proportion of local news talked about the policy tools of the law that would help Americans, the Medicaid expansion, the subsidies that would help people afford the cost of their health insurance. Really only about five to seven percent of the news covered that. In contrast, a third talked about the problems with the websites, the glitches. Um, and uh, another, another third talked about the enrollment numbers, how many people had enrolled to date. Um, which wasn't really actually help any particular people. It really fits with that strategic way of covering the law and focusing on who's winning and who's losing from a political perspective. 